If you are interested about artificial intelligence, then I recommend you watch this video because in today's video, we're going to talk about tool that could help you run thousand different models on your local computer. Hey guys, my name is Vlad and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about hugging face. This will be mini tutorial that give you comprehensive understanding what is this hugging face and what you can do with it. If you are a person who fascinated about artificial intelligence, I recommend you watch this video because we will be able to run different AI models on your local computer. If you are ready, then let's get started. First thing first, what exactly is hugging face? Simply put, uh, it is an open source AI platform that specializes in natural language processing through transformers models. Whether you want to analyze text, uh, generate creative content, or even work with images and audio, Hugging Face has something in store for you. To get started with it, open HuggingFace.co website and create an account there. Then you will be redirected to your dashboard. And then from here, we can start explore the website. You should be aware of three things, models, data sets, and spaces. The Hugging Face Model Hub is a repository where you can find pre-trained models for a wide range of tasks, such as natural language processing, computer vision, audio processing, and more. These models are contributed by the community and Hugging Face itself. The datasets library at Hugging Face is designed to provide a simple and efficient way to access a wide array of datasets. They could be useful for machine learning and data-driven projects. And Spaces on Hugging Face providing an easy-to-use platform for users to deploy their machine learning models and showcase interactive AI applications. So if you want to showcase your AI model, Hugging Face is the best place to do that. As you can see here, a lot of different models from small and big companies and also from private people. Let me show you some example. I'm going to select a random model. Let's try image generation first. I will select the one that has the most likes. Okay, it's stable diffuser. Let's try the demo. All you need, just write a prompt and then press the generate image button. And here we go, this is my result. As you can see, it's really easy to use this web interface to try these different models, but we also can do this in code and I'm going to show it later. Okay, let's go back to spaces and try some other model. I'm going to try background removal. Let's see the interface of this AI application. I'm going to find some image. Let's use this image. And let's try to run the application. All you need, just press the submit button. It could take some time because application could wait when GPU to become available. But usually the waiting time is not that long. And as you could see, my picture is ready. And here we go. This is my image without the background and seems it works perfectly. That's probably it about spaces. Let's go to the coding part. Hugging Face Transformers. Transformers uh, is a core library that supports a broad array of transformer models. Transformers are a type of deep learning model architecture that excels at understanding the context and nuances of language. The library provides a lot of pre-trained models and fine-tuning tools that you can use for different tasks such as text classification, tokenization, translation, summarization, and so on. I'm going to show you how to use it on Linux, but it's also available for Windows and Mac. If you are using Terminal as me, then the steps will be almost the same. Before we dive in into the specific applications, ensure that your development environment is set up correctly. You will need Python, transformer library and few other libraries simply copy this command and paste it inside your terminal if you see this error it means you are trying to run the installation package globally but we need to follow the recommendation so we have to create a virtual environment first simply use this command and then activate your virtual environment and after that you can run the previous command 
and everything should be ok. After we install the transformer and other libraries, we need to install machine learning framework, PyTorch or TensorFlow. These are two of the most popular open source frameworks. PyTorch was developed by Facebook and TensorFlow was developed by Google. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Torch. The next step is optional. If you are using NVIDIA graphic card, you can follow this step or you can skip it. In this step, we are going to install CUDA. It is a tool for parallel computing. It allows developers to use NVIDIA GPUs. Basically, this tool helps you accelerate of computation tasks because it's much faster than CPU. To install CUDA Toolkit, you need to open NVIDIA website, then go to the CUDA download, select your operation system, and then follow the instruction. For Linux, I have to run these eight commands in my terminal window. For Windows and Mac users, steps are, could be different, so just follow the instruction. Okay, and now we are ready to explore Transformer in action. Let's go back to Hugging Face website and open the models link. There are so many different models available. Some of the models will require the stronger computer power, so keep in mind that maybe you can run them. But if you have powerful computer, then it won't be a problem. On the model page, you can apply the filter and select different models from the list. There are models that help you work with the computer vision, images, voices, and so on. If you want to know a bit more details about specific model, simply click on it and then you will see the details. Sometimes you would need to accept the terms and condition before you are going to use the model and some model don't have it. Okay, let's try one model in action. I'm going to use text classification model. Let's select the most popular one. Okay, this is a BG Reranker. Let's try it first. Simply click at the model and then follow the instructions inside. As you could see in this model, there is no terms and conditions, so I have to just copy and paste the code and run it on my computer. Keep in mind that the instruction could be for different libraries as well, so you don't have to follow everything, find the one that related to transformer and follow the instruction for the transformer. All you would need, uh, just copy the code into your IDE and then run it. In this particular example of text classification, I showed the relevant score for the answer on the specific question. And as you could see in the example, the first question is what is Panda? And the answer is high. So the score is negative and it means the answer is irrelevant. However, for the second question, we get high score and seems the answer is relevant. This is really simple example, but it showcases how it's easy to use Hugging Face. Let me demonstrate for you one more example. This time let's try a text generation model. As you could see in the list, we have DeepSeek R1, Mistral, Llama, and many other models. I'm going to try P4 Mini from Microsoft because it's lightweight and doesn't require a lot of memory. Okay, click at the model, then you can read the instruction or you can click this black button, use this model, and then copy and paste the code from here. Keep in mind that sometimes under the button, the code is not full. You would need to modify it a bit. I would recommend you to use the instruction instead, but if you have experience, you definitely can use this method. Okay, I paste the code and let's try to run it. If you will encounter this error, like me have on the screen now, it is probably due to the fact that after you install CROD, you haven't restart your computer. Simply restart your computer and the error should gone. Okay, I restarted my computer. Let's go back to the Hugging Face website. I'm going to copy the code from the instruction. I will slightly modify the code. I will remove first three questions and leave only the last one. Okay, let's try to run the code and see the result. And as you could see, the model can solve this simple math problem and it gives me correct answer. Okay, let me show you one more example, probably the final one. This time we will try to work with images. I'm going to select image to text model. We are going to try a blip from Salesforce. This model will help us to understand what is on the picture. Uh, basically, you can use it to create captions for the pictures, for example. I'm going to copy the example. So simply copy this code and paste it inside your IDE. 
First, I'm going to use the full code, and then I will adjust it to use my picture. In this example, we see a dog, beach, and the lady. Let's try to run the code and see what caption we get. And here we go. This is the result. And as you could see, the result is correct. Let's try to modify code a bit. This time I'm going to use my picture. And let's see if the model can understand it. I'm going to use this obsidian sync image. Let me quickly fix the code and run it. And here we go. This is the result. And as you could see, the caption is correct. And I think this is the last example. I don't think you need any extra details. Please give it a try. Try different models and see what you can get. In terms of pricing, Hagen Face actually is free. But you can get Pro account that gives you additional features. I would recommend you to try free first and then decide it if you need the paid one. And that's probably it. If you will like this video and you will like Hugging Face, I'm going to create a video about how you can train your LLM and upload it into Hugging Face. If you're interested, please let me know in comments below. And that's it. As you can see, it's really easy to use and it's really powerful. If you like this video, please click like. If you don't like this video, it's okay. Please click like, but share with me your feedback in comments below. Watch my other videos because they are really useful. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. And don't forget to click bell button to get notification about my new videos because they will be really useful. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.